Alrighty, so I wasn't actually going to start recording today, but I have a customer's game gear, my first paying customer, and the problem is that the you turn it on and it, it pretty much switches off straight away. There's uh, I did a bit of a testing, um, there's, there's almost no power coming on any of these pins, but the batteries are good. And um, yeah, so this is the main power board of the Game Gear. And what I see is that the rest of the Game Gear looks like it's had its caps replaced. I'm not sure if these ones have been replaced or not. And the reason I'm saying that is, I don't know if you can catch it on camera. But the, the joints look really, let me just try the microscope, they look quite nasty. Um, this, these ones in particular are at the back of the capacitor. But uh, most of the joints around here, they, uh, a lot of them look dry, they're not connecting properly. So I thought what I'd try first is just to reflow it. And then I'll have to go check my supplies to see if I have any spare capacitors. So I might just give it a clean first. And I just got some isopropyl here. It's quite dirty. It looks like um, whoever changed the capacitors did it quite quickly. And um, I already touched up a couple on the main board that didn't look right. All right, that's quite a bit cleaner. Let's see if I've got a desoldering tip here. Turn my soldering iron on. Got a new soldering station. Let's see if it can just get up to a good temperature here. So I'm just checking if it's hot enough by. Uh, uh, I won't autofocus, but I'm just melting a bit of solder on. And when it melts, I know that the soldering iron is hot enough for the solder. Uh, where'd my flux go? I'm going to focus on that one first. What I'm going to do is first just add some solder to it. And that'll make it easier for me to get it off. So the solder didn't even want to stick to one of the sides. Let's see if we can get the solder off. Oh, help to push the right button. Yeah, okay, we're going to use some braid. Uh, where do I put that? There it is. So this is my new soldering station. I'm still getting used to it. My old one, the temperature would be a lot lower to get the same results. So I don't know if the sensor is different, but uh, yeah. Or maybe the tip is just not as good. Put some more flux on there. Mm. 
Yeah, the old solder definitely doesn't want to come off. Be better. Ow. Hot. Very hot. All right, that join looks a lot better. I don't know if you can tell the difference on camera again. Uh, where is it here? So you can see the difference between the job that I just did there and the joints that are next to it. The new one's nice and shiny, the solder goes all the way up the legs, there's no holes in there. So assuming the cap's good, then the join should be okay, but if the cap's no good, we'll still have to replace it. Well, that one looked the worst, let's see if any of these look terrible. I might just pop that back in and give it a quick test. Screwdriver. It'll hold it in place. Pop all our batteries in, power switch is in the off position. See if I can organize my tools here so you can see it too. So I should get five volts when I turn it on. Ah, yes. So what I was getting before is like one volt, two volts. I wasn't getting five there. There should be 34 down here. Ah. Oh. Look, that fixed it. I know you didn't see the fault beforehand, but what it was is um, it didn't have 34 volts down here. It had one volt and up here, it started off at like two volts, but it, it went down and down until zero. So what I'll do is turn that off. Turn that off and then I'll just make a little space on my desk here because I don't want to scratch it. I'll make sure everything's out of the way. Turn my soldering iron off. 
give it a clean and bring the front cover over and that's in the off position we'll just connect all this back up and see if it comes on Needs a game in. What are we going to do about it? The game has to be over here. Here we go. Oh my god, it's working! All right, sweet. Turn that off. Unplug it all again. Now I can just put that back together, but what I'm going to do is just check out this sound chip too, see how they're going. To me, it sounded a bit grainy, but maybe that's what it sounds like. So, um, yeah, oh man, that's so good. So that was this small capacitor here, which is a, let's see if I can read it. Uh, nope, the writing I need to read is, is hidden from view. But I will look that up and I will get a replacement before I send this back. I'm going to actually put a new one on there just in case. And uh, yeah, all right, so that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.